Yo, yo, yo. If you tune in to me, you watching Gully TV, I'd like to wish everybody a good morning. Um, as y'all can see, I'm in the gym. Get my dribble right. I got breaking news. As we all know, Craig Mack, one of the pioneer artists, that bad boy, passed away. And I got a deeply uh, passionate story that I want to share about Craig Mack. So I was a teenager when Craig Mack came out. That was in the summer of 94. I'd never forget that shit. For, for those who don't know, I know y'all get a lot. Y'all hear a lot about Biggie, 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 Biggie. <sighs> Sometimes they don't give you your, you know, your glory until you decease. That's just how life works or whatever. But anyway, Craig Mack was actually Bad Boy's first superstar. Craig Mack. He was, he was Bad Boy's uh, artist that had a smash hit first. A, a smash hit out of here. Cult classic song. And um, Flavor in Your Ear was remixed. And the remix took it to a whole nother level. Some, some people say that um, Flavor in Your Ear, that posse style remix, gave birth to the posse style remixes when I interviewed um, Yuck Mouth from the Loonies he told me when they had I got five on it they remixed it the same way that Bad Boy did and they put Drew down and a bunch of you know Richie Rich bunch of West Coast niggas on the song but anyway the first time I heard Craig Mack I remember it like yesterday one thing about hip hop music um, when you hear a uh, a smash hit or, or, or a classic. You always remember where you were when you heard it for the first time and shit. And with me, I was, I had drove, I had, I had, I had just got my first whip actually, and I went to visit a girl in uh, Harbor Homes Projects and shit. That's the east side of Erie. I hopped out the car to go buy some weed and back then people had house systems you know people don't really have those loud wild house systems anymore you know the house systems with the speakers this fucking tall people used to be jacking them from rent center and shit like that the wild loud house system was still out back then but anyway my man had Calvin Kennard he had the house speaker in the doorway um, and he had his hatchback pulled up and he was like wiping his car down and I heard the wildest, funkiest beat I had ever heard in my life. And it almost didn't matter what the nigga was saying on the song, but the nigga was, uh, 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 uh. he was kicking this shit, right? It was like a staccato flow. And um, it was the first time I had ever heard Flavor in Your Ear. I asked him right away, I was like, yo, who was that? He said, that's Craig Mack. And I went immediately to go buy the single back then. They had the CD singles, maxi singles, where you could just buy the, the track on one CD. Um, that, that began Bad Boy's domination on the records, on, on the charts and shit like that. Craig Mack. Um, in my opinion, Craig was mis probably got mistreated. It's my opinion. I think a lot of people are probably going to share my sentiments. I think Craig was mistreated. Um, it was once rumored that when when Puff said, "Okay, y'all, we're gonna put on the, um, you know, the derbies and the Versace shirts and shit like that," Craig didn't want to. He didn't. He didn't want to wear that shit. Like he wasn't on. That wasn't his style or whatever. So I guess he didn't want to adapt to Bad Boy's style of music. Big, big made those pop club records. It's Craig didn't want to participate, and there you have it. Um, last that anybody knew, Craig had joined some type of religious cult in the North, in the Carolinas, and he just was, just drifted off away from music. It seemed like I watched his. Um, he got a documentary on YouTube. I actually watched last year that was dope. I didn't know that Craig Max started out running um, running around with EPMD. Word up. That's where Craig Mack comes from. He was around EPMD and Redman and all of those dudes. He was up under them. 
So rest in peace to Craig Mack. You will be missed, my nigga. You had records. Uh, gotta get the cash. That's a record known as Making Moves with Puff. That was a banger. Um, let me see. He had a ballad joint. I can't remember. It's been a long time, but none of his records would ever uh, eclipse flavor in your ear. That's that's who Craig Mack is, flavor in your ear. He'll, he will be missed. Rest in peace to Craig Mack. Y'all uh, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at the Real Gully TV. Follow me on Twitter at Gully TV One. It's time for me to get to it in this gym. Rest in peace, Craig. Oh, uh, uh, later on a day, of course, we're gonna have some uh, uh, exclusive interview from Mark Curry, who was a bad boy artist. He also had a record with Craig Mack, so we're gonna hear from him later. I tap back in with y'all later. One.